This video is not gonna be long. I'm going to make this as short as I can. I know there's a lot of you divine masculines who you were introduced to twin flames. It's a topic to you. It's not really something that you find that excitement when you're watching a movie or you know that, oh, there's this great movie that you've been eyeing on and it's, it's gonna show in a few weeks or in a few months. It's not the same feeling. This is nothing to you. It's just there's something, right, that you can't explain. Why is it that your mind is stuck about it? So it doesn't make sense. And with divine masculine energy, is again, is very different compared to divine feminines. With divine masculine energy of who you truly are, and what God programmed you, you know, again, your formula is very different compared to divine feminine. Um, and even if a separate being of your kind, though you may have many divine masculines who are have similarities like you, you're still very different. Now, in this video, I'm going to point out a few things. Uh, I'm not going to say much because this video is public to everyone and <laughs> this video should be enough for you to trust what I'm saying and also enough for you to make a decision whether you want to pursue the thought, pursue this journey. Uh, because many of your Divine Masculines are not in union with your Divine Feminine. You haven't even met them. That's what my spirit guide is telling me. Majority of you that will be guided to this video have not even crossed paths with your twin. You were introduced to the topic because of either you were going to a grocery store or you were doing some groceries or you were buying food or it's just out of random and you weren't even thinking about anything psychic you weren't even thinking about anything spiritual because that's the one thing and the only thing that you don't play with and it's the only thing that you don't even entertain and i'll make it generalized someone who's really spiritual comes to you and invites you for example a psychic reader Okay. And you look at where this person is standing and they're standing in front of their store, which is called psychic reading, right? Um, and then this person just out of random, you don't know this person, you're, you're heading to the grocery store and this person just says, hey, you come here, I'll give you free reading, I'll give you a great discount, it's only two minutes. And then after that, something happened. <laughs> I'm going to go generalize. Something happened. You find yourself on YouTube and you find yourself searching for tarot reading. Something random. Anything. It could be tarot reading. It could be psychic. It could be anything spiritual. Which you never do, right? Because it's not something that makes sense to you. And as a divine masculine, you're used to things that make sense. You're not used to things that you have to think harder than what is, right? Because to you, life is what makes what you make it to be. It's more of a practical mentality. There's no need to even go into the surface of spirituality because to you, it's just nothing. Um, it's not your interest, right? It's, it has nothing to do with your interest in, in regards to spirituality. It's closed. And a lot of you divine masculines are closed. Um, you have one mindset and that's your own way of course you follow society and you follow the norm right because to you it's it's about practicality and within that practicality of following that norm you don't follow others you follow yourself you have your own way of doing things there's no need to follow steps of how to do certain things you have your own way and you follow that way. And it's something that you've been used to for a very, very long time. It's what has guided you, regardless of the fact of what your history is with your family. And a lot of you divine masculines do have abandonment issues. And that's something that you haven't really, I would say, 
given your time enough solitude, your own self-healing, your own self-time to really self-reflect and, and heal it. Um, it's something that you've put to the side and I would say did not make it a priority because your priority was to succeed in life, right? You had a goal, you had an achievement close to a pyramid way of handling things. So to you, success in life is number one priority. And how to get there, you knew how to do it your way. Nobody guided you. Nobody taught you. You taught yourself. And that's what differentiates a true divine masculine compared to other masculines. Those who are not divine masculines, they follow a crowd. Majority. Most of them, I'd say 99% of them, they don't know how to do things their own way. So they follow what their parents has passed down to them. And then they follow what community, their society has influenced them to follow, right? It's like a social, cultural way of learning things and how to um, coexist. Coexist in where you're at, whatever country you're in, whatever culture you're in. Um, it's to be like them majority of masculines in how they function in this world okay now divine masculines differ from masculines like that because divine masculines have their own way of doing things and it's in your own time and you're not rushed you're very relaxed in how you get things done you have your own way of thinking and a lot of masculines are threatened by that. So therefore, because of the fact that they're threatened by it, if you, for example, I'll give an example. Um, my spirit guide is telling me to give you an example. So for example, you are married, okay? Let's say you're a female who's a divine masculine and you're married to a male who's also a masculine. Not a divine masculine, a masculine. This masculine is your karmic partner. You have a family with this person. So let's say you have three kids, okay? Now, in the time frame of the very beginning that you married this individual, there's always been a clash. There's been a clash of personality, a clash of, um, you know, uh, having a mutual agreement. For example, a masculine's duty, right? A natural energy of a masculine is to support and also to provide and also to um, be of service, right? And you're very intelligent. So in everything that you know that you need to do, you are very quick to make that decision because you look at not just one angle, but you look in a dissected way. And masculines don't don't think like that. A divine masculine does, but a masculine, just a masculine, thinks more of like, no, let's get this done now because we got to get it done. And sometimes it's messy because they're not thinking of the other things that could happen. They're not prepared. A divine masculine's way is more like, one, we shouldn't have even made this decision because you didn't think about the steps. <laughs> You're just going at it <laughs> without thinking it through. <laughs> you're not patient. You're just going at it. <laughs> you're going by your feelings, not by your mind, not by your th your way of making decisions. And that's what differs with divine masculines and masculines. So being married to this masculine and you are a divine masculine, right? And you're not even knowing about this. You don't even know the difference between the two. You don't even know that you're divine masculine, okay? I'm just giving you guys an example. You're married to this individual and there's always been a clash and disagreements. And it's been so toxic that every time you even have arguments in front of your kids and your kids were used to seeing this, right? So they've adapted that part of you and your partner who is a masculine who's always constantly questioning you, disagreeing with you. You've never had that support mentally, emotionally. There's no support. You're always fighting, always fighting. You feel that you're not heard and you feel that everything that you think is stupid. This person makes you feel very small. They feel that they're smarter than you and that they're the ones who have the authority 
to say and do what they want to say and do what you want and what your opinion is and what your thought is does not matter to this person so you've lived your life many years with this person like that you've lived a life like that so now as a divine masculine what's really happening in this dynamic if we're talking about energy what's happening is your energy as a divine masculine is not ascending because someone is controlling you to ascend in order for divine masculine to fully ascend to their potential to what god has created them to fully achieve right because that's the goal regardless of the fact that you're you're not meant to be in union with your twin in this life okay and this is why again divine masculine differ from divine feminine again you can re rewind this video i'm doing the best i can to go quick because i don't i know many of you have a lot of things 12 12 right now so okay many of you have gone through this time frame where this is what society has given me to follow and you follow that until the point where you are stuck in a relationship that is i would say had tied something in your neck and you can't you can't speak because you feel that if you speak it's just another argument or you feel that you speak it's just going to drain you you're going to feel tired and you don't you just don't have that energy but at the same time, the effect in you is stronger, more than ever stronger, because that effect in you is doubting yourself and doubting yourself, you know, your, your smarts, you're doubting your knowledge, your wisdom, the things that you know that you have succeeded in prior to even being committed in any relationship. You were very successful before you even met this person and before you even tied the knot, right? at first it was it was beautiful that's why you went in it and now that you're in it and now have a family you're stuck in it the difference between masculines and divine masculines when starting a family a divine masculine is committed and loyal to their children regardless of what it what's happening okay now the demons devil's puppets right these demons have contracts with spirits and this is why if you go to my explanation in the about tab on this website if you go there i have listed two parts of the video um, on the bottom you should watch that so that you can understand what i'm talking about when i say spirits okay that have third party involvement now these demons have contracts and have i'd say deals with spirits these spirits spread out they spread out to society they spread out in whatever in all parts all parts of the world so imagine you living in a home that you don't have any history you don't know the history of that place you don't know how it started that that home was built what land was it built on because there are histories in that land all of those come to play when you are in a karmic relationship whether or not you were guided by this person or individual or family member or friend to be in this karmic relationship there's so many dynamics that play okay when you are in a house that you're stuck in an energy that is not built for you to grow it wasn't destined for you to grow there so because of the fact that you are not only sitting and resting and standing on a land that you are not meant to grow there spiritually okay i'm talking spiritually the person that you have committed to live this life with that you have chosen and agreed to tie the knot with this person and have a family so now that children is involved it makes things more difficult to move it makes things more difficult to take initiative and be assertive and just go with it right because you're used to that you're used to thinking it through you take your time and then you action on it and you don't look back that's a gift that divine masculines god has given you but because of the fact that you're stuck in a situation in a family and in a land 
that you are not meant to grow there spiritually you're not meant to ascend there spiritually but stuck there now it's not only i would say locking you in constricting you you're unable to move you're unable to decide because you have someone who you tied the knot with and marriage is very spiritual because marriage is an agreement right and that's why demons are doing so hard they're they're working so hard to distract divine masculines tempting them and that's why i was saying in regards to third parties right go to my about tab section on my website and you will see two videos there i've explained there why it's important not to go to third parties and this is why because there are a lot of demons who are hunting divine masculines knowing that they are not in union with their twin you are a threat to them and the reason why a threat is because again you are very powerful I would say you are not as equal as our Lord Jesus Christ, but you are close. There are things that was entrusted to you and only to you, but the only way for you to unlock it, you are the the treasure chest, okay? Your divine feminine is the key. So in order to have that open, you have to meet your twin. And of course, again, that comes in divine timing, right? It's not your time. It's not your twin's time. It's God's time. So the situation you're in right now, whether it be in a relationship that you're not really wanting to be in and you're stuck in now and you want to get out, but you don't know how, all of that is planned. Understand? It's planned. But getting out of it is your decision. It's your time. So the moment that you are already thinking that you want to get out of this relationship and out of this house, out of this land that you're in, you're stuck in, that's draining your energy and making you feel less and small of a person because that's what the, the demons want. That's what the devil wants. He doesn't want you to ascend <laughs> because he knows you're a threat to them. You can do a lot of damage to hell if you're awake. So, of course, the, de the demons and the devils, they're going to do the best that they can to make sure that you're stuck there. <laughs> they're going to do everything. And that's the time where the moment that you're starting to think to get out and you're starting to even initiate to get out of there, to get out of that karmic relationship, that's the time where you're going to feel more pressure from your partner to make things more harder for you, to be able to be free. Because again, there are things at play, right? Things in our spiritual eye that only our spiritual eye can see, not this physical eye. As a divine masculine, that you may have only been introduced to the topic of twin flames that has caused you to open a window as far as this to know and be curious of certain things in regards to twin flames that doesn't make sense to you. But out of curiosity, and only out of curiosity, you are here. I am speaking to your higher selves. You know what's right, and you know what you should do. You don't need anyone to tell you. God gave you a gift. You should use it. You should not let anyone tell you what is, what's right, what you should do or not. Don't mind them, because they have their own life that they need to deal with. And that's not your business. You may be in a karmic relationship, but you are your own individual self. Just like our Lord Jesus Christ said, and I, I've constantly said this, you are responsible for your own salvation. So therefore, you are responsible for your decisions and your life. You shouldn't let anyone tell you what to do. And as a divine masculine, you should learn to trust your intuition and continue to live that way before you even tied the knot with this person and made a family with them. Yes, you regret it. We're there. Yes, it's not right. It's not a typical family that you wanted. You didn't want a broken family. You didn't, you didn't plan it. You, you're a responsible person. And you know deep down you have a good heart. And you know that you know your loyalty is unmatched. But it's too much, right? It's too much to bear. You can't breathe anymore. It's affecting you. Who you really are. 
And your higher self is not going to allow that because your higher self is protecting this body. And that's what's urging you to get out. So do what you must, do what you can, and follow what your mind is telling you, what is right, right? Because it's not so much in your heart. Because you are a divine masculine, and as a divine masculine, many divine masculines, 99% of you, you don't follow your heart. You follow here. You follow what makes sense, right? So I'm speaking to you <laughs> with your energy, right? That makes sense. Because why? Why would you stay in a relationship that's toxic, correct? You don't need a heart to think that. You, need, you don't need a heart to action on that. It just makes sense. So leave. Get out. But again, take your kids with you, correct? Now, there's another thing at play. When you have children involved and when you have children that you've had with karmic partners, that's separate. Again, there are things that I have to discuss with a lot of you divine masculines and it's a lot. It's a lot to dissect. It's a lot of, it's a lot of slices in a pie. Again, as I was mentioning with Divine Feminines, if Divine Feminines, I would write in a picture, okay, as a pie, it's sliced in eight slices. In a Divine Masculine, it's sliced in 16. And in one slice, there's too many categories to dissect. It's complicated. You are not complicated to live in this life as a Divine Masculine, but you as a spiritual being, very complex it's not it's not easy and it's not it's it's just too much and that's very sacred and again the responsibility that was given to me i'm very protective of it of the wisdom that they are giving me and i'm not going to allow and just anyone to have access to it. And that's why I made this website. It is password protected. If you were guided to this video. And also all the more. You have already understood everything that I've said. And you feel. And you think. Mostly here. You understand in your mind. And trust me in your mind. That you understand everything that I'm saying. And you want to know more. Email me. Or go to my website and click on submit self-inquiry form you have to upload a photo of yourself so that i know who you truly are okay that's how i do that's how i really judge um if they are who they say they are uh, i need to see you i need to see your aura so please send me a photo that has no filters okay fill up the form send it and then um, apply in one of the groups uh, submit and uh, to be a member of you know twin flames and i will approve it based on if you truly are who you are okay now if you're not sure that's fine just submit a self-inquiry i will know and i will email you back i will let you know and we'll have a discussion one-on-one -on -one. um again this is free this is free this is my responsibility um that god has entrusted to me and i will fulfill it until my last breath and that's why this website is very important because there's a lot of information that is meant for you. And you have a choice if you want to continue this journey as who you truly are, right? Because I would rather, and I've said this many times, I would rather you make the decision now. Okay, and, and I'm saying this to have it make sense, right? <sighs> When you go to work and you do a project, do you start it halfway or do you finish it all the way? Many of you, Divine Masculines, you finish it. You start it, you finish it. You don't, you don't care how long it's going to take, you finish it. In regards to spirituality, it's the same. But there are dynamics that you need to protect yourself. If you are not spiritually awake, it's difficult to even know how, right? To know how to protect yourself spiritually. So what should you do? You should know your options. You should know what you're dealing with. And I would rather you come to me and ask me than someone else. Because if you go to someone else, again, third party, you don't know who you're really dealing with because there are many many minions of demons they have 
contracts with these witches, these tarot readers, these psychic readers, psychic healers, etc., who have, who do, who are legit, who have spiritual gifts that they have gotten and received from Lucifer himself, from the dark energies, and they use that to manipulate and take advantage of true, true children of God that God has entrusted in in God's time to awake. Okay? But because, again, we're in spiritual war, right? There are things in spiritual war where it's out of our control. It may have been written, a few of them, or if not most, but still, there are things at play that is out of our control, right? For example, it is not in your control for any spiritual being who is fully awake, who sees you, to not come to you, to not confront you, and, and, and even present to you or initiate and ask you hey you know come here i'll give you a, a free reading you know or give you a discount it's only gonna take you two minutes you can't control someone's decision because we live in a world that is free will so it doesn't matter what god has planned for you and i'm speaking to you as a divine feminine using your energy to communicate with you because that's how you communicate with divine masculines. You can't communicate just as a divine feminine. You need to understand a divine masculine's energy and how they function, right? It's like calculus. It's like formula in algebra, correct? There are formulas. You cannot mix a formula for another formula. Whatever that algebraic expression is, is just that. That's how you solve the problem. You can't use an algebraic expression on a calculus a, you know a calculus formula it's not going to work correct so again there's a lot of things in my spirit guide is telling me this should be enough there's a lot of things we need to discuss and all the things that we need to discuss are private and those things will be protected with a password and the only way to get through them is through me i will have to approve you to have access to them and that's and i'm making this public to everyone who watches this video on youtube right now and it, it was 12 33 so it's 12 34. i'm letting you guys know i'm here on vacation and i'm focused on it now because that is what the heavens want me to do right now and that is what i'm gonna do so the website will be done um before the end of march and it will be fully functioning uh those of you who do not have access to certain tabs on the website and to certain groups in the website. You have to email me and send me a photo of you. Tell me your story. I will not just give you access to anything in my website. Um, these are wisdom from heaven that is protected and I will respect that. Divine Masculines, if you were guided to this video, it's only for you. You can either continue the journey or not. I suggest if you don't want to continue your journey as a divine masculine, then walk away. And when you walk away, do not look back. Why? Because there are many things at play here that will only put you in danger. Will only put you in danger, will put your children in danger, and will put your twin in danger. Even if you don't believe in your twin, even if you don't believe in twin flames, but you are already here. You were guided to this video. So God is already telling you through me, walk away. If you do not want to continue this journey, you have the free will to choose so. Do not continue. Walk away. Continue your life as if you are blind. Continue the life that you've been living. Make the choices that you want. Okay? But do not look back to spirituality. And the reason for that, again, is it's going to cause you more danger. Danger for you and danger for your twin. Who you may not even believe in or what. Okay? Again, if you're not going to continue and finish the journey with or without your true twin do not even start and this video is a warning do not say you weren't warned you were guided to this video for a reason nothing is coincidence so take it as is if you do decide to continue email me if you decide to just know something 
email me. We'll have a discussion because I will not even also risk your safety, your spiritual safety, and your higher self knows me very well. I am not the kind to be careless in the, and especially in the spirituality. It's not something, it's not something to be careless of, okay? And it's not something that's only practical to understand because spirituality is very, very complex. There are rules that need to be followed. There are laws that need to be followed and things to consider. Things that are cannot be seen through your physical eye and cannot be understood by your physical eye. So I cannot just advise you based on what your physical eye understands. Understand that? So if you do decide to email me, you have to be fully aware. <laughs> you have really thought about it. And you're willing to go through it. If not, do not even. Just walk away. Okay? I love you guys. Uh, again, the, the website is going to be finished by end of March. Um, hopefully, I will do the best I can before the end of March. My email, I will put under the description down below in this video. Yeah. So, God bless you guys. Please continue to pray because we're living in darker times and this year's this year specifically is not going to be good especially by the end of this year it's going to be chaotic um, there's a lot of things at play in this world and again uh, prayer is everything it doesn't matter what country you're in it doesn't matter what culture you you're in just pray to God just you and God you know have that conversation with him and be specific in your prayers because again there are spirits who think and believe that they are a God really and there are demons <laughs> devils entities that believe that they are god so <laughs> when you pray to god make sure you announce and you say pray you know you're praying to god in heaven okay you have to be specific in your prayers you cannot be careless and just call anyone no <laughs> you don't need to be <laughs> spiritually awake to know that you you need to really you know be specific okay be careful um be have discernment and um yes there's going to be more videos but the future videos after this video this is the only video i will post about divine masculine the only the future videos will be password protected so you need to email me everyone else is the same you have to email me i have to approve you and that's the process okay i love you guys bye